Clown Chronicles 6 We tell ourselves, today is the day. Today is the day when we become something more, a better version of ourselves. Flowers that blossom in a brightly lit kitchen, fed with water from a tap, as the cold outside taps on the windows, trying to get in. Eventually it does, and the perfect version of ourselves gets frozen almost immediately. Apparently, this type of cold has a special kind of magic. It's infused with constant self-criticism, self-loathing, self-inflicted lethargy, or so we've been told, told ourselves, one of the two. Another tick, a few more talks, the internal clocks are busy keeping busy with menial tasks such as napping, napping, gossip, small thoughts, or the most important one, negotiating with the gullible brain some method of escaping this charade, this farce made out of letters. Let's read. Let's go play. Let's learn something useless. Let's waste time counting the number of petals on this flower. Anything else except this. Today is the day when we don't listen. We don't want to. We don't need to get lost in the comfort of routine. We could. You should. You won't. You're rude, dude. The bed makes nicer noises when it's silent than this caricature of poetry. Today is the day. Or is it tomorrow? Tomorrow is the day. Has a nice ring to it. Tomorrow is the day when we'll say, Today is the day. This way everything is a-okay. We can put our pen down, lie down in a warm bed and read about our inability to cope with a regiment of daily writing. Today is the day when we stop after the first drink, have only one smoke and we break the st stereotype that some thoughts only ripen when we drink, or this is the only way to be honest. Today is the day when I stop saying Today is the day. Perhaps it's not. Perhaps it is. Perhaps we'll stop using perhaps as well, discontinuing the absurdity of repeating the same old ideas with the same old thought process. You wouldn't know anything about this. We do. We don't like it. This journey is also an evolution towards the nirvana of shit and cock. Just when you think you're almost there, the toilet clogs and your feces overflow. The pristine tile is ruined. What a foul stench these words produce. Certainly not worth your time. Right? Here we are, reaching out. Talk to us. Say hello. Say goodbye. Say something for fuck's sake. Wake up. Wake the fuck up. Awake we are. We are awake. Until the final breath. In death complete. Yet here we are. Willing to compete against ourselves. Yourselves. There really is no difference. Effervescent pills on tongues. Wrongs done. Time gone until we run into the great imaginary wall, only for the ground to stop existing and we fall and fall and fall. In thrall by imagination we end up creating anything worth time. A while or a smile, an antidote to nihilism by succumbing to biology, a dose of rationality to combat, to combat 
the rampant insanity of drones driven by ideology, of poets looking for an apology from the creator for turning them into master baiters. We'd much rather prefer being fish. A fruit fly, willing to multiply, do nothing else, no one else, no nonsense to be subservient to. Oops, looks like we've entered the wrong chat. How about that, eh? Today is the day when we break free. Witness us becoming the second coming of the Lord of Hong. Hong Hong.